Today, I'll show you how to set up FFmpeg in OpenTunes on Windows so that you can import MP3 audio into your projects and so you can render it out to a GIF or MP4 video file. Hello friends, and today I want to show you how you can set up FFmpeg in OpenTunes. And to do this, it's just two easy steps. Download a few files and then point OpenTunes to them. But finding the right files can feel intimidating. But don't worry, it's really straightforward and you can't actually break anything. And I wanted to make this video to follow on from last week's. So now you've installed OpenTunes, adding FFmpeg will extend its abilities by giving you more input and output file types. So first, here's a quick project that I've put together to demonstrate what we'll gain from using FFmpeg. So if we just play this through, you see it's just a quick animation of a box falling. And the first thing we want to do is to add audio to this. And to add audio into your OpenTune scenes, you just need to drag the file, now drag a WAV file here, into the open OpenTune scene. And it'll ask if you want to import or load the audio file. If you choose load, it'll load it from this location in my downloads folder. But I want to delete it from the downloads folder, so I'll choose import and that'll take a copy of the audio file into the project. And now you can simply drag that waveform by clicking the top bar to where you want to hear it in the timeline. But from a fresh install of OpenTunes, you can't drag MP3 files into it. So if you try and drag an MP3 file in, you'll see this no entry sign. And it can't be added until we add FFmpeg. And secondly, if we go to the render menu and choose output settings, and this dialog might look more complicated than previous versions of OpenTunes, but it contains all the same information, it's just presented at once. But down here is where you set up the main output settings. You choose a name for your rendered file, then on the right, you choose the file type. You can choose to export as a number of images, as a sprite sheet, as a MOV video file. But in here, you haven't got GIF or MP4, which are the two most common render options that you'll want. So let's go ahead and set up FFmpeg so we get all of those. So the site for downloading the FFmpeg files is ffmpeg.org. And this site changes its look from time to time, so it won't necessarily look like this. But this is what it looks like today. So browse to the site, and there's a link to this down in the description. And click the download button. And then choose your operating system. And I'm on Windows, so I'll hover over the Windows logo. And then move down to the options presented below it. And these will also change from time to time. But if they do, just try one of them and see if it works. The rest of these instructions will still work for you. I first took a look inside the Gaian dev builds, but the downloads require the 7-zip utility, and I don't want to install that. So if I go back to the previous page, I'll choose the Build by BTBN. So let's click that. And then we'll get a choice of builds. And the name here is made up of a number of things and these might be named slightly different for when you come to look at this, but let's take a look at them one piece at a time. Firstly, I know I've got a 64-bit computer, so I can use any of these that say Win64. I know that the GPL works for OpenTunes, and that's using the General Public License. That's what GPL stands for. So I can use the ones that say GPL, but don't necessarily need to use the ones that say LGPL. And I don't want to use the shared options either because these contain lots of other stuff that we don't need. So, I'll take this zip file here, Win64, GPL, not shared. But again, you can try any of the others and they still may work for you. So if you're not sure, just give it a go and see if it works. So I'll click this to download it. And these zip files contain files to use directly without installation. So once it's downloaded, unzip the file. So if I go to my downloads folder, where it downloaded to, I can right click and choose extract all. And then we need to open that folder 
and we're looking for a folder called bin. So again, step inside the next folder. And here's the bin folder. Let's go in there. And here you'll find the three files that we'll need to use with open to. So highlight them all by dragging your mouse over them and then right clicking and choosing copy. Now we've got a copy of them in our buffer. And then we need to paste them somewhere that's easy to remember. So let's create a new folder to store them in. If I go to my C drive, I'll create a new folder in here and I'll call it FFmpeg. And then in there, I'll just right click and choose paste. So now I've got a copy of those three files in an easy to find location. Now we just need to point OpenTunes to these files. So run OpenTunes. Then we just need to go to the preferences options in the file menu. And then the import export section. And then in the top section is where we want to enter the path to those files. So if I press the ellipsis button to the right here, I can browse to that location. If I go to my computer, C drive, FFmpeg. And then click the choose button. Then you can see the location in there. And while we're in this dialog, I'll also increase my FFmpeg timeout. And I'll just add a zero to the end to make it 6000. And this value is how long OpenTunes will wait when trying to render your video file before it gives up. So if you're rendering a larger animation, you want a longer timeout. And setting it to 6000 has worked for me in the past. We'll do that. And as it says at the bottom of this dialog, the changes will take effect the next time we run OpenTunes. So let's just close this down and then restart OpenTunes. After a restart, I've loaded the scene that we had before. And now if I go to where my audio files are on disk and then try and drag in an MP3 file, it's accepted. And again, I choose to import it into the project and it's added it over here to the right. So let's just name these columns. Now turn off the wave audio file. And then again, drag the waveform for the MP3 into the right location. Let's hit save and then play that. Perfect. And finally, let's just check the output settings. So again, I'll leave the name as it is. And in the output file type, if I take a look, I can now see an MP4 and GIF. We can just render those. And here's one quick tip if you're going to render to a GIF file, and that is that GIF files are transparent by default. So if you've not added a background color to your animation, then it'll be shown as transparent. So if you've drawn in black and your video player plays with a black background, you won't see your animation. It'll look like the render has failed. So if you want to add a background, you can either draw the background in a separate column, or if you're happy for a single color, go to the egg sheet menu, choose scene settings. And you can see here, there's a checkerboard pattern next to the camera background color, and that indicates the transparency. So just move the alpha slider all the way to the right, and now it's showing a solid white color. So now if you render, you'll have a white background. If you want a different color, you can adjust the other sliders, or click on the box and then adjust the color using the color editor that's docked in your view. And you can see the background camera color changing there. I'm happy to use white. I'll leave it as that. And then hit render. So that's it. You've now got extra import and export file types. The whole process should only take you a few minutes. Find the right zip file, download it, unzip it, copy the executables to an easy to find location. And it's a good idea not to put them inside your OpenTunes folder. So you can easily uninstall OpenTunes and update to a newer version without having to re-download FFM. And then tell OpenTunes where to find them and restart. So I hope this helps you get set up and I'll be back soon with another video. So why not subscribe and join me then, when we'll be animating for free with OpenTunes and Darren T.